So today we are continuing our series on data flows and for this particular session we are looking at how you can link an API or connect an API through data flows and then use it in Power Apps. The case study is that you are a company who uses um, exchange rate in your transaction so there is always the need for you to go back and check how might the your currency is exchanged maybe per the US dollar or per the Canadian dollar or whatever it is whichever currency it is know the exchange rate and then use it in your power apps or your transactions so for instance I have to be able to go do this, I have already done it. Let's go through. Then we check on how to do it. So for instance, this is linked. The API is already connected. And I took the API from this website, exchange rates dash API. Now these are lists of current the currencies and the countries. So for instance, AL or is uh, Albania. Uh, we have some other currency. CAD is Canadian dollar and so on and so forth. So I created the data flow and linked this API to it. And then we are now reusing it in Power Apps. So in Power Apps, when I click on say Canadian dollar, which is C A C A D, then the exchange rate to the dollar is displayed. If I click on Albania, the exchange rate is displayed for you to reuse it in your transaction. So without much ado, let's jump to how we were able to achieve this. We can connect an API, pass it through data flows, and then we reuse it in Power Apps. So to do that, we I have I have logged into a website, Exchange Rate API. Now, the, what this website does is to give daily exchange rates. So, for instance, when you look at the screen, we have the exchange rate for various years, sorry, for the day. Then we have each of the currencies, US dollar, Australian dollars, Canadian, the Euro, all of them listed for a particular day. So assuming we want the currency or the exchange rate for a particular currency and use it in our transactions in Power Apps, this API is will be very useful to connect. I usually use the custom connector and then use the API to connect to the power apps. But today I'm going to use um, data flows to go to the same process and see how the experience will be like. So to get to the data flow, we will need this API the link that has been provided by this website. You go to your Power Apps, click on Dataverse, and then we have your data flows. By the way, I have done some series of how to connect data flow to Power Apps, about three videos, how to refresh and so on. I'll put the link below. So you click on Start, you give your API a name, let me name it API 3. Then hit on create. So this gives you the opportunity to pick where your data source will be coming from. For our case, before we are dealing with API, you search for web API. You select the web API, then you paste the link that was copied. So for this API, address or the endpoint the basis for it is the us dollar so it is setting the us dollars against the other currencies okay so you go to the data flow you paste 
the link that we have copied from the exchange rate api you click on next so this is going to open the power query for us to do some data manipulations there after that we are going to link or create a table in database that links to the data flow such that when we refresh the this exchange rate will be reflected in power as for us to use it in various transactions that we do okay so now it's connected let me change it to uh, api api data flow let me give it that name api data flow okay so in this power query we see that there's uh, the result is a success uh, it has the providers name the documentation and so on then we have the exchange rates listed so they are all listed up to the last point so we have the south african currency also listed here almost all the currencies are listed now what you want is that this we have to do some data manipulations here this is a one rule that have been given for all the currencies what we want is to transform the one row into two or three columns so that we're able to create a table and link it to the power apps so one of the advantages of power query is to be uh, the ability to uh, transform so for instance we don't need this column so we are going to delete delete columns okay so then we have the the date for the exchange rate let me delete this column as well then it gives today's date which is first october 2022 then some other columns which we don't need let's delete all of them then it gives you the base currency you know in exchange rate you have the base against other currencies for this the base is us dollars is listed there then the rest follows so the us dollar is one against the other currencies so what we are going to do is to unpivot or transform this one row column into multiple rows so that we can use a convert it to a table and use so you click the other rows the other rows apart from what we want to transform so we have the the date the base currency so you have selected the other rows then you go to transform let me pick the transform go to add column okay looking for transform okay so we look for transform and uh you go for on pivot column so on pivot column you have on pivot other columns on pivot only selected columns so this is where we go for we go for the on pivot uh, the selected columns so we click on it okay so we see that it's been transformed so for this we have the resource which is a success this as well we don't need this we can delete this one so we have the dates we have the base currency we have other currencies then we have the value against the us dollar so with this we can rename this to say currency and make it country currency
Okay, so with this, we we are done. We go to next. What we are going to do is to create a table. So let's push this data flow, the data query that we have done into a new table. Let's give it an ID column. Let's create a new table. Click on next. So are we refreshing manually? So let's refresh manually. I have a video on how to refresh data query. The link is below, as I said earlier. So for now, the is publishing so that it become accessible. So let's for now let's log into our Power Apps as we wait for the publishing to be done. After the publishing, we see all the data in a database. We have because we have already created a table that should hold the Power Query results in the data flow. The website is a little bit, uh, my internet is a little bit slow. They still publishing. Okay, so for now, the API, the data flow is fully refreshed or published. So let's go to our tables. But before then, we can go to our paras. Then we can insert a new gallery, a vertical gallery. Okay, so we can see that this is the table that we created. Can click on it. It's loading. Okay, so what we can do is to, we don't need this column, we can remove this column. Then we can bring in the columns that we chose. So we have the base, then we have value. Then we have the country, yeah, country currency. So these are the columns that we created. Okay, so these are listed. So what, we, what it means that we can now go to, so we, our, we have inserted a gallery. We want to ensure the data flow, the API that is connected to the data flow is made available inside for our forest use. So I inserted a gallery, we go for the, the table, the table name is API data flow. So this is a table, click on it. So we need need the criteria from we can go for the the value. We can go so go for the name of the currency. It's country currency, that's the name of the column. Okay, so this is now available in Power Apps, the API. It's now available in Power Apps and we can easily use it. So I'll make it a little bit smaller. Yeah, so we can then insert, see a test box, or you can even link it to your form. So in every transaction that you perform, the name of this gallery is gallery two. Gallery two dot selected. No 
Selected dot. Then we go for the name of the plan, which is the currency. Country currency. No, let's dot value, sorry, like this. So what it means is that, uh, assuming I'm looking for Ghana CD, which is this. So when you click on it, then it appears in the test box, which can be reused. So thank you very much. This is about data flows and how useful it is. Uh, please subscribe to my channel and also for the other four videos that i've done on data flow that i will link the i will leave the link in the description button thank you and let's meet again